Columbus City Schools plans to return to blended learning on Monday because of the governor's vaccine plan, but this is just for students in kindergarten through third grade. Today, CCS gave us an inside look at safety plans they have in place district wide. Here's 10 TV's Stephanie Stanovich. Box after box of cleaning supplies ready to go. We have everything we need. Octavia Hickman is the head custodian at Columbus Afrocentric Early College. We have stocked up on everything. We have the hand sanitizer. We have wipes. Uh, we have the gowns. We have the masks for the students. Measures are in place to welcome back students pre-K through third grade, students with complex needs pre-K through 12, and career tech kids who go to the downtown high school or Fort Hayes Career Center. We're ready. We're definitely ready. I, I know we can take care of it. I'm just waiting on the kids to get here. Cleaning is, of course, a big focus. All day, every two hours or every hour. We're here. Um, we have a night shift, so they'll cover whatever. We asked what the biggest target would be. Doorways, all doors, touch points. For the kids who will be returning to school on the 1st, CCS officials tell us that they are confident in the measures that they are taking. This is a multi-tiered plan. We've been in contact with the Columbus Department of Public Health, Nationwide Children's Hospital, as well as staff and union partners. Vice President of the Columbus Board of Education, Ramona Reyes, understands some parents are anxious. I think we're all scared, right? Um, everything is constantly changing. Uh, the good news is that we have modeled and have borrowed best practices from other school districts that are doing this very well. She says the district wants transparency and to answer all questions, even the tough ones. Uh, that's why we have an FAQ on our uh, district website. The district is keeping an eye on questions on social media too. Reporting in Columbus, Stephanie Sanovich, 10 TV News. Now students in grades four and five will return starting on February 8th. Older students will remain virtual until the district works out transportation details.